What's up everyone? I figured today I could show you my Chris Reeves knives collection and I'll go ahead and start off with the first knife I ever got from them and that is the small Sabenza 31 with the drop point blade. So when I first got this in I actually didn't know how I felt about it. Um, I just wasn't used to the hydraulic action and I was used to fidget friendly knives. So I actually didn't really like it that much um, first impression wise and I thought about selling, selling it a few days after it arrived. But I didn't. I decided to give it a little bit more time. And then one day I was outside uh, doing yard work and I had to do a, uh, some stuff outside. So I actually, you know, used it a lot that day. I was taking it out and, and, and using it and cutting things pretty often. And that's when I started to get a fondness for it. I realized how user friendly it was, how simple but straightforward the design was. It had good steel, you know, just just simple. So, yeah. Started, started growing a love for it. And then of course it broke in naturally after a while and I got used to how to open it with that C method with your thumb um, and just the hydraulic feel overall. So yeah, glad I hung in there because now I actually have three small Sabenzas and I, and I really like them uh, and I can see why they're such a big deal in the community. And another fun story about this knife I actually went to Vegas recently and I took a pelican, like a small pelican case, and I put it in my luggage to, to fly there. And I thought I was going to be going to PVK Las Vegas when I got there, but the, there's no longer a storefront uh, for them. They're all online. So that didn't work out. But this was the only knife I had packed. So I carried this for a week straight in Vegas, and I guess you could say... I, that's when I realized I just I really like this company and uh, I'm glad to have these knives because it just made sense it was no nonsense and could handle anything I needed of course I didn't use it that much on vacation um, but when I did need to use it and cut some stuff it was there so yeah carried this for a week straight in Vegas I wasn't planning to but once the store was no longer there I was like well hey at least I have a Sabenza all right and then this is the second Sabenza that I got. This is the small Sabenza 31 with the Insingo blade. And these are not the stock thumb studs, obviously. These were put on by Rocky Top Customs. They're the tie connector thumb studs. But it makes it to where it's super easy for me to flick out this knife. And I know that a lot of people don't like to flick their Chris Reeves knives. I know you're supposed to just use the um, hydraulic motion, but I don't know. It's fun and I can do it with these. The stock studs, um, when I flick, and it's not terrible, but they're just not as comfortable. These are super comfortable thumb studs to use for the uh, Sabenza. But that is a clip that I got from a friend, and I actually bought this knife from, uh, from a friend, so it came with the clip, but the thumb studs I had added. But uh, yeah, I actually really like the glass blast finish, the new finish that they offer. It's smoother, it doesn't show snail shells as bad, and yeah, I just like how smooth it is, and I think it looks really good. I like both of them, but I think if I had to choose, just as far as just plain Jane goes, no inlays, I think I like the Glass Blast. But uh, yeah, really like the uh, Insingo blade. It can do a lot. Um, it's really awesome to open boxes with because you just have that flat down there. And I just like the way it looks. Really unique, still thick on top. Just a good utility blade. Um, the only thing I did when I got it in from him is I did go ahead and just um, take the blade out and clean it and then I opened it up and put the lanyard back because he didn't like lanyards. So I've only cleaned it once and yeah, good action here. Um, you can still, of course, slow roll like that. And then uh, getting this one added on the back, I can, uh, well, probably if I wasn't on camera, I can uh, middle finger flick it, but normally have to put a little wrist with that. But I will say, if you are new to CRK, they do recommend just breaking it in naturally with the slow roll. They don't recommend flicking it out like that, but, you know, teach their own. I just can't help it. I like to flick this one with the uh, thumb studs. But yeah, I think the Insingo is definitely my favorite blade shape that CRK offers. I just think it looks good. And this clip is the Rips Garage Tech Sabenza clip. And then because I have a problem, I ordered a third one. Uh, this is the small Sabenza 31 with black micarta inlays. 
but this one has the polished blade from Chris Reeves Knives. I really like that polished blade. It's really nice. Um, this came very sharp from factory. Nice attention to detail. I haven't broken this one in yet. It's still pretty dang stiff to open, but we'll get there. So the only thing I've done to this one was add the uh, RGT clip that I ordered. It's the Ghost, so I thought it looks cool with the uh, Bead Blast and the uh, Black Micarta. And I haven't decided if I want to take the lanyard off or not, but for now it's on. Um, and I'll probably keep the stock stud on this one just because it looks good with the polished blade. But yeah. So here's the one I most recently got in. And I really like that polished blade. Boom. Now I did briefly own a Zon for probably about a month, but I did end up letting it go and selling it. Um, I guess it was just a combination of the hydraulic motion for the action plus the thicker scales and it was a lot bigger obviously than the small Sabenza. Um, and I don't mind larger knives, but I don't know, there's just something about it. Um, it just, it wasn't as smooth for me to operate as the smaller ones. Um, but it was a beautiful knife. The, it was a, t a Tonto blade. Beautiful. I could tell it was top quality and I can see why a lot of people like it. I just ended up letting it go. I was kind of in the downsizing mood at the time. So I did end up letting it go. But um, I think in the future, I would love to try a large Sabenza. Um, maybe an Nkosi. I haven't really decided yet. I, tr I held a large Nkosi at Blade Show. I didn't know how I felt about the finger grooves. Um, so maybe a small Nkosi would be better, but I definitely want to try a large Sabenza. And I've never tried the uh, 21. I hear a lot of people say good things about it. I guess you're either a 21 or a 31 person. Um, so if I'm able to get my hands on a 21 one day, I might go ahead and, and get one. But uh, personally, I've never tried a 21, so I can't really comment on that. But all my 31s that I've had, I've been lucky. They don't have any lock rock or, or play. Um, I know that some people have, have said that about the 31, but I was pretty fortunate and uh, all the ones I've gotten so far are pretty good to go. So yeah, but it's cool. I mean, there's not a lot of OEMs that are USA or, or things like that, but you know, it is USA made blades, um, Idaho made, so that's kind of neat, uh, especially if you're, you're in the USA. They make all, all the knives here in the States. So, yeah, just an interesting company. When I, when I stopped by their uh, booth at Blade Show, it was, of course, packed. There were so many people trying to try, check out the knives. But the person that helped me was pleasant. I actually didn't end up getting one there. Um, I don't know. They, uh, they had a really cool classic design one, like, or one of the unique ones that had a polished blade, and it was, it was colorful and stuff. Um, and it was beautiful. I was very close to getting it, but I decided to just kind of just wait a little bit because uh, I wanted to see what else was at the show. But yeah, the, the people were nice that I talked to at the booth and, you know, they had some really cool stuff there. I tried the uh, large 31 with the black micarta inlay with the Insingo blade and whew, that was calling to me. But if they weren't selling them at Blade Show yet, um, of course, they, that was just kind of like one of the new th products that they had brought there. But that one I really, really liked. All right, and here's a close-up of all three. Now, there might be some slight spec differences between the blades of the Drop Point and Ensingo, but I'll just read you the specs for the small Sabenza with a Drop Point blade. It has a blade length of 2.99 inches, a closed length of 3.98 inches, and an overall length of 6.98 inches. So a really, really good EDC size on the smalls here. Now, um, I also know that they have the MagnaCut blades that they've been releasing, and they have it at a higher HRC than most, so that's pretty cool. But uh, these are not MagnaCut. This is S45VN, S45VN, and this is S35VN. Um, this, these are both factory edges. This has been sharpened and it's held out or, or held up really well. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty happy with that. But yeah, look at that polished blade. And I don't really know if I have a favorite right now. I really, really like this one just because it's the first one I've ever gotten from them. Um, I've used it the most. Uh, I don't know, I'm just fond of it because of that. But I really, really like this polished blade. Let me focus that up. The grind lines are just beautiful. I love that it has the stonewash uh, flats up here. Oh, it just looks really good. 
And of course, like I've already said, the Insingo blade shape is my favorite. So I don't know. Don't really know which one's my favorite. Uh, do I need all three? No, of course not. Do I have all three? Yes, I do. So yeah, here's just the current Chris Reeves Knives collection. Are you a Chris Reeves Knives fan? If so, what is your favorite model? And just in case you wanted to see, I'll go ahead and just do a few size comparisons for the small Sabenza 31. Here it is against the pair of three. Here it is against the Wee Banter. And here it is just for fun against the Shaman. So yeah, there's the current state of the CRK collection. I guess I'm officially a CRK stan now, but you know what, that's okay, because sometimes you really just can't beat the classics.